Hey, what's up, everyone? It's your girl, Sherelle. I'm the host of Let's Talk the Show, and this ain't a podcast. I'm so happy that you guys get to join me today on every Tuesday like you do. We got an amazing show in store for you. We're going to be talking about Haiti and some images that have researched or surfaced on the internet. We're going to be talking about them and why they look so familiar. Um, make sure you guys are following us or make sure you guys are clicking that link in our bio to follow us um, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are trying to grow our YouTube channel hopefully to 100 subscribers by the end of the year and we can't do it without your help. So any opportunity that you get, make sure you share this live to three friends and click that link in our bio to subscribe. Um, you know, before we go any further, I always gotta give you guys what I'm grateful for. Um, what am I grateful for? Today I am grateful for Hmm. What am I grateful for? Mm -mm -mm. I feel like this pandemic has really helped strengthen my faith in God. So I really am happy. I'm grateful for a renewed faith in my creator. Okay, that's what I'm going to go with. Some, some renewed and strengthened faith in my creator. Um, So I know you guys are like, you look really different. I know you guys saw me in some twists. And now I got the natural hair out. Um, that's why I'm not gonna lie, I was late solely because I did not know what to do with my hair. It's like super poofy, it was flat iron and it was cute, but now it's like super poofy and it just was not sitting well with me, okay? Um, that's that's the that's one of the cons of when you're too broke to afford a hairstylist to do your hair before your show. I'm gonna get there eventually, but not right now. So now I have to deal with styling my own hair, right? Um, but yeah, so that's what I did. That's why I was so late. But um, let's see. We're gonna go ahead and get it started. So basically, if you I'm go ahead. So basically, if you guys have been on any type of social media platform, or if you even watch the news, you've seen that uh, that there are photos that have surfaced of white men on horses whipping black people, women and children and men, and they're probably wet. They're probably wet. So what essentially has happened over the last few months is that I believe a hurricane hit Haiti. And they were experiencing, either it was a hurricane or earthquake. I can't remember. They experienced some type of natural disaster. And what's funny is because I know you guys remember me just talking about them. And I remember saying that I'm grateful that I can help Haiti. We were just talking about this, right? And so um, they had, they were suffering from uh, flooding, really bad flooding. Um, and then I think a few weeks before that, there was an assassination attempt. Well, there was an assassination on the president and the attempt on his wife. And I remember reading that he died. Um, they like someone like invaded his home and killed him. I think that's how it went. And then his wife was flown to Florida um, to receive treatment, and she was able to go back to Haiti. So they've been experiencing back-to-back -back tragedies. Um, and the latest one that we've seen on our soil is them trying to cross what I read the Rio Grande and going into Texas. Um, and they're being captured. They're being captured by. Border Patrol. So allegedly what's happening is that their Border Patrol is saying that they are not whipping these people. This what you see right now is what I'm showing you. That is a Border Patrol agent. Those are Haitian um, immigrants that have come from Haiti um, and they are trying to seek asylum here because there's a lot of things going on. Economic opportunities are drying up and so they're coming here. Obviously they're coming illegal, but you know, that's I just feel like that's not here nor there. What you're seeing right now on the screen is some inhumane treatment there's like let's just digress let's just break this shit down because this is what i'll get i understand that you have to gather them because you just can't go somewhere illegally i understand that but this picture blows me my man is already running okay like they're running he's already on a horse and he does not look like he's trying to get down why are you grabbing him like this shit just this shit just screams slavery. It just screams modern day slave catcher. Like this just screams slavery to me. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, do you guys see this? Like, you know, fam, what do you think about this picture? Um, or have you guys heard anything about what's going on with Haiti? Let's see here. Hey guys, see you in there. You said this is too sad, inhumane. Absolutely. Um, this photo is so disturbing. It just is so much hatred. You can just feel the anger. You can see his, like, he just looks so scared. Like, that's a big ass horse. This man is literally, ha this man has a whip in his hand. He's grabbing him by what looks like his sleeve. He's trying to flee. And it's like, y'all didn't have no other way to go in here and try to help them people. Like, y'all didn't be like, let's, let's just, you know, hey guys, we're going to work something out. Like, y'all got to go in aggressive. 
this just looks like slavery to me. I really, I really, I want to come on here and talk about it, but I really didn't want to come on here and talk about it because it just doesn't make sense. Like this should not be happening, but it is happening. It's something that we need to talk about. And I'm always going to make sure that I use my platform to bring awareness to these situations um, because you guys may not have known about this. So yeah, he's fleeing. Um, I can't really remember the name of the city, but there was a city in Texas that they were basically keeping all of these people. And I believe this picture is actually when the people are crossing the water to come into the U.S. If I'm not mistaken um and he's trying to round him back up this is really disheartening this is really um it's really sad and then look at this other picture you guys what this looks like let me see can I zoom in oh, hey <laughs> sorry I didn't even know I could zoom in I didn't know that zoomed in on me I thought it zoomed in on the photo um but this almost looks like this is obviously the same guy he has the blue shorts the bag and this is probably seconds before he reaches to grab him. And I, honestly, guys, I don't really know what to say. I really am just at a loss for words. Um, I was doing some research on Haiti. They were A lot of people were talking about why Haiti is so poor. Um, and don't quote me directly. Always make sure you guys do your own research. I'm going to try to tell you exactly what I read was just that. Um, Haiti, okay, so basically what I saw was that Haiti got their freedom, I believe, from the French. And the French would not recognize, I believe, for like over 10 years or something like that. And I believe that they were made to pay the French back in a, uh, an immense amount, like a lot of money. And so that kept Haiti poor. And that's why a lot of people was like, Haiti's so poor. And it's like, they had to pay back all this money because they did not want the French in their country. And once they defeated them, Nobody would, from what I saw, that nobody would recognize them or like really do business with them. And that's what's kept Haiti so poor. I know that was so like, that was so vague, but it's like, that's just what I saw that the French came into Haiti. Haiti whooped their ass low key, basically, told them to get the fuck out. And they wanted their independence. Well, they got their independence, but what they didn't get was freedom, technically, because they had to pay, I believe, like over a billion dollars or something like that back for whooping them people's ass. And that, that made Haiti extremely poor. Um, they were not able to get, they were, it doesn't seem like they were able to form partnerships with other countries um, to, you know, to get the economic relief. And it just kind of was kept them in, you know, poverty and, and, and poor. And now they've had natural disasters back to back. Um, they had the assassination, they had the assassination on the president and his wife. And then they, you know, had another natural disaster, which was this, uh, the flooding. And they're coming here for asylum, and is, this is what's happening. You know, I don't want to see shit like this. Like, I don't like watching traumatizing shit like this. Like, I didn't watch that, that when they see us or that Central Park. I don't like watching shit like that because it just puts me in a bad mental space. This shit right here has been bothering me all day. No lie. I didn't even want to get on here and talk about Haiti because this shit just don't make no sense. Like, it's, it's really... It just don't make no sense. I don't really have anything to say more than it just doesn't make a lick of fucking sense. Like, I'm going to go out here. Give me a second, guys. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense that they would treat people while I am zoomed in. At least I was still cute. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense that they would treat people like this. It doesn't make sense. Um, it It's like... I, I kind of want to feel like those type of people become border patrol to do shit like that. You know what I'm saying? To be in those type of positions. And then I watched where the White House had a press conference to discuss the, they were discussing a lot of things, but the, obviously those photos came up in question and the woman kept saying, you know, we don't have enough information. I don't have all the context. And people were asking like, what type of consequences would they receive? Um, and they just kept saying, we, you know, we can't say anything. We don't have any contacts. And it's just like, it ain't that fucking hard. It ain't that hard to say. It's, first of all, it's not that hard to see what the fuck is going on. And a lot of people were saying, I'm sorry, it's not that hard to see what was going on with these Haitians, with the Haitian immigrants in the U.S. Border Patrol and their inhumane treatment of them, the aggressive, unnecessary treatment of them. And people were comparing it to the afghan immigrants that were coming here and were saying that i believe airbnb offered like a bunch of places to um afghan immigrants to stay here and it's like why are they not getting the same treatment like 
what's going on and it's like you don't want to compare two sufferings because it's obviously not what this is but there's there's always a very clear difference when race comes into play right it's always so blatantly clear and it's like what type of person would get you're already on a horse so you already have more power what type of person would get on a horse and terrorize people who are already terrorized they don't have much and you out here just just treating them like this. I really wonder how people sleep at night. And low key, they probably sleep good as fuck. But I couldn't imagine waking up, going to work, fucking up somebody else's life. Like, these are people lives. These are real people. They have real dreams. They have real families. Like, I, America needs to fucking do better. And honestly, I don't think that America is ever going to do it. They need to do better. Do I think they'll do it? No. And I think the longer that we wait for these motherfuckers to see where they went wrong, the further behind that we're going to get. They're going to continue to move forward and do what they need to do to advance to advance on their mission. We need to just say, fuck that shit. Because it don't benefit us. We wanted to sit at a table with a bunch of motherfuckers that didn't like us. And every time it's our turn, they switch the rules of the game. Right? And it's just, it's so upsetting. It's so, it's just, honestly, after I get off of this show, I'm really just going to sit down and chill because this is exhausting. I really feel for these Haiti immigrants. I do not know what that lifestyle is like. I do not know. I've never experienced something like that. I've never experienced something like that. And I hope that they are able to grant them some type of asylum, some type of help here in America. Um, it seems like America is only free for white people. Um, it, it, like, you got to be white in order to really get the benefits of being American. And it, it kills me that we have all these such, we're so on our high horse no pun intended, on such a high horse when it comes to immigration, when this whole fucking country was stolen. How, Sway? How? My nigga, y'all ain't even from here. Nigga, you weren't here. How the fuck you gonna tell somebody else what to do on some land that ain't even yours? My nigga, you stole this. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, like what? Nigga, you don't even belong here. <sighs> you know what, guys? This is genuinely exhausting. I be hating stuff like this because it really drains me. What do you guys think? Have you guys seen anything in the news? Uh, what do you think about the photos? I'm going to bring the photo back up. Tell me what you guys think about the photo. This shit is just like... I don't know. What do you guys think? You know, do you... So I do want to make sure. I read a lot about what the whip is that they have. Apparently, the whip is not to use on the immigrants. The whip is to keep their horse in line. I've yet to see a... I have yet to see a whip being used. That's not you. I have yet to see a whip being used on a horse um, because all I've been seeing it is to like threaten to, I just spit. I've been seeing it to threaten to try to keep in line the immigrants and to scare them, right? This is like, could you guys imagine going through something like this? Who said, absolutely. Could you guys imagine going through something like this? Or have you seen anything on the news about this? Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't know. What do you, you know, have you guys seen anything about in the news about this? Have you talked, have you guys been talking to people about this conversation? Or have you guys been having this conversation on any of the social media platforms? Because this is ridiculous. These people are fleeing for their life. You see it on social media. Yeah, that's why I originally saw it. And it was just like, the photos are so disturbing. It's so disturbing. It's, that's disturbing. I really feel for this man, and I really hope that he was able to get free. I hope that he wasn't injured. Um, physically, I'm sure he's probably emotionally scarred enough from just trying to get here. And now to get here and have to deal with this. This is unnecessary. This is uncalled for. The American government needs to do a better fucking job. Um, I don't know how to, you know, they just need to do a better fucking job. But I don't expect them to improve on their behavior anytime soon. Racism is alive and well and it's fucking thriving. Um, like Amanda said, these monsters have cracked, you know, come back through the crevices when they think we aren't paying attention. And they're back doing this type of shit again. Um... And that's why I can't get with that racism is dead. Everybody's not like that type shit. I'm I'm almost beginning to believe white people are really just like this. Like, I don't believe, I genuinely do not believe that. But you be seeing some shit and it be like, my nigga, like, 
what the fuck? Like, why are y'all acting like this? I don't know. You know what, guys? I um, I ain't planning on making this a long episode, honestly. I really hope, I really hope that with this episode, you go do some googling. You read about Haiti's history. Again, you find ways to donate to them. I hope that. You know, you think you guys don't have a platform. As long as you're on social media, you have a platform. I hope that you use it to bring awareness to the situation. I hope that you use it to voice your opinion, to get others' opinions, to get everyone talking about this. Because the more attention we can draw, the more likely we can get them some more help. There has to be a way. Um, there has We have to draw the line in the sand somewhere. And the minute we can start doing it um, together as a collective, the, the further we're going to get. So... I don't know. This is really, I'm just, honestly, this is exhausting. It's so exhausting. Um, and it's funny because I think this is so funny that of all days I want to talk about the them niggas doing some slave type shit, I wear my getting off like white cop shirt, right? I I really was looking for a long sleeve shirt because I thought it was cold. So then I was like, oh yeah, my getting off shirt. And it's like, of all days, I ain't really feeling, you know, White motherfuckers in uniforms, especially police officers. Well, white men and women in uniforms that are officers, that are racist. Like, of all days that I want to talk about that on my show, I coincidentally grabbed this. But I guess it's not really a coincidence. Maybe I need to wear this. So, I'm getting off like white cops. Um, I forgot what the brand is, unapologetically. Unapologetically. T-A-N-G-E. I don't know what that said. Sorry, I was trying to read upside down. There's no work. But yeah, that's me getting off like white cops. Um, I'll probably post this shirt in my story. You guys can find the brand. I can't think of one right now, but it's easily one of my favorite shirts. Um, and it really just says like, you know, I'm getting off like them niggas do. Them niggas always get off everything. I'm getting off like them. Um, and before we go, though, we got to wrap it up with something you're grateful for. So could you please drop something in my comment section that you're grateful for? Um, I will go ahead and say that I am grateful for... <sighs> I got to be smiling these couple days. I got to be free and just do my own thing, organize and really think. So I'm super grateful today just to have a peace of mind to be kid free. But I will have a kid out tomorrow. So... Yeah, I think I'm grateful for that. Um, I see I do have somebody in the audience. Can you drop in the comment section something that you're grateful for? And while they're typing that, make sure you guys go ahead, share, click this arrow, and share with three friends you think that would like this episode or this conversation. Make sure you guys also click the link in our bio to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I can't wait to see you on there. Uh, new episodes are uploaded daily. Um, and we have shorts uploaded. So like some of our reels are on there and other bonus exclusive content will be going up this week. I've had a lot more free time to really like buckle down and get things done and do the things I want to do with the show. So it's been super helpful. Um, and yeah, I'm grateful for the opportunity to work with a brand new startup. Ooh, I love that. Guys, she says, I am grateful for the opportunity to work with a brand new startup. That is amazing. I think startups are so fun. I feel like I have a startup business. Like, I'm super happy for you. I can't wait to see you take off. Um, and I'm going to go out with my grateful. I am grateful. Oh, I think I just said it. I'm tripping. Am I tired? I think I did just say I said I'm grateful to have a peace of mind. So, yeah, that's what I'm grateful for. I'm saying, well, today I'm grateful to have a peace of mind. That's what I'm grateful for. Um, and I think that's about it. Make sure you guys research Haiti. Go see how you can help them. Educate yourselves on what's going on in the American government. Um, you know, if you do care a little bit, educate yourself on immigration. Find out what's going on, right? Just find out. Take the time to educate yourself. They're putting it out there for us to see. Uh, but, you know, don't be so quick to make a judgment. Just see for yourself. Um, that's all I have for you guys today. And I'm going to go out the same way I came in. As always, my name is Cheryl Carter. I'm the host of Let's Talk, the show, you guys. And, I'm, and this ain't a podcast. Thank you for joining me this Tuesday. I'll see you guys next Tuesday.